I am Kayla. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to another podcast. Today we have a couple more cryptos that we're going to go over. One being Reflex and one being Polker. So I'll let Josh kind of start the topic there. And yeah, so Reflex is kind of a new, um, a new cryptocurrency. It's been around a little while, but um, it's moving very fast now under the direction of um, the FUD Hound is his name. Um, he w used to be with SafeMoon. Um, now he is a CEO of Reflex, and in that process, he's now, um, they have launched their version 2 coin. So that version 2, usually when you see something like that happen, it's, it means that it's trying to um, reflect something on a blockchain, um, or they needed to change the way that it, it works so that it will work with whatever projects they got coming out next. Um, so if it works about half as good as they think it's going to, then I think you can see it um, be a pro, uh, be a coin that's going to um, be one that it's goes up pretty fast. Yeah, because you can buy a lot right now for very little. Like you, sixty bucks will get you a billion of them. Mm -hmm. So um, it wouldn't take very much money to get quite a few of those coins. And if it does succeed, then um, there might be some money to be made there for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the second one we'll talk about today is. Um, Polker, that's P-O-L-K-E-R, but it is a poker site. Um, it runs off the poker token, but it is in beta testing now. And was, I was lucky enough to be able to be part of the first thousand in the beta test. And it's a really good looking site that runs off the Unreal Engine, which if you play video games you've heard of, um, makes it pretty it's, legit. They got one of the most popular, if not the po most popular game engine out there. So yeah, it's and, important. And and this is a pretty high intensity, high in, um, intensified graphics. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that I'm really impressed in the early release of it is that if you've ever played poker on websites, you kind of get the feeling that they're looking for big hands like monster pots. And so um, a straight flush is going to beat an ace high flush, or one full house is going to beat another full house. And I don't think you're going to get that with this engine. This is pretty. Um, Legit, it seems like um, it's completely random. They're not trying to set up hands. Um, Which they have their own patent, patented um, generator, yeah, card generator. Yeah, random card so, generator. It's it's brand it's, new, and, and that's the thing I'm the most impressed with. It, it still has a few bugs, but that's what the beta testing is all about. Right. And um, once they get those worked out, they're looking to launch this in, within the next 60 days. Mm -hmm. So, And that's going to be a mobile app and it also be a desktop version um, powered off the Polker token which goes for about a nickel right now somewhere we're playing a nickel and six cents so you can get quite a few of those for uh, not very much money which is also I mean you can get it on the Ethereum network or the Binance network true that is true right. and not all tokens work that way so, but that one does work on both of them so they um, um, but that when that launches within 60 days that's going to be a token I think that's going to take off because mm -hmm. Activity helps with um, the tokens and and the prices going up on that. So right, need a utility, need need a purpose for it basically. What you will hear us, <laughs> you'll hear us say that all the time too. That listen, that's one of the things that we look for when we invest is something that has a utility, um, or at least a team behind a token that has a roadmap for a utility that we can believe in. Because mm -hmm. it takes a while to get the utility set up and to go. Um, and but once that happens, that's when you see coins take off. And there's several of them that are on the brink of that right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, but so when it comes to the um, that sort of deal and kind of what we're trying to evolve here, um, Greg, I'm gonna let you talk a little bit about what's new to Crypto Bros, whether it's a website or you know kind of what we're doing behind the scenes. Right. And of course, last week you know we went over the website and kind of give you a look at that and um, we're really looking on expanding with local businesses um, and also helping businesses get up and running to accept crypto whether for for tips or whatever they're selling um, kind of future proofing basically you know um, so that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on um, we also help develop websites that's something we do too we're a tech company so 
you know, we, we're into the crypto, but we also do technical support, you know, of any nature like that. Yeah, so, and if I you mean, like our website, that would be a great example. We've got a couple of others out there. We haven't quite asked you for permission yet on whether or not we can share those with you, but as we move down the table or down the road, we might do that, but yeah. And we're going to have, you know, a new, new price sheet and, and more things coming, mm -hmm. you know, so that will be on our website, so just stay up to date with that. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the, the name of the game here, you know, helping people to make crypto mainstream, you know, something a part of normal everyday life. And one of the so, things that we're always looking forward to to do is to help other local businesses. So mm -hmm. um, check out our site, check out the local businesses. I think we've added a few since last time. Uh, yeah, always looking more. to add more. So if you're a business and you'd like to get onto the page, uh, just contact us. Um, we'll see what we can get figured out, and we'll kind of go from there. Yep. So, and they're all they're all linked. So, I mean, everything yeah. we post, it will go to whoever's website. So, you know, we'll, we'll do a little bit for you. You know, so yeah, and and you know, and what we're learning, and we kind of already knew this, but now that we've launched this business, we're learning that the. Um, the uh, social side of all those things is very important. Mm -hmm. um, not to bore people with the details, but the algorithms behind how Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff works. You know, the more likes that are out there, the more people that subscribe, um, the easier that links with Google and how all that stuff works. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we figured that'd be another piece of the puzzle is helping people out by, you know, kind of linking our stuff to their stuff. So. Okay. Um, a new thing that we're going to try this week. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to it. We're going to see how this works out. But uh, we got a new segment, and it's called All About It or Over It. So what this is is we're going to have, I don't know, from week to week, four or five different things that we're going to talk about. Um, but it's going to be simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be kind of a simple answer. Are <laughs> you all about it or are you over it? And then kind of just quickly why. Okay, so... Caleb, I'm going to let you introduce the topics okay. this week, and we'll go from there. All right. The first topic is Bitcoin. All about it or over it? Let me you go it. first. Oh, okay. You've done oh. a pretty good job not being in a rocking chair today, so we'll let you go first. All right. <laughs> so Bitcoin, is too mainstream? I don't think so. Bitcoin is still relevant. So it's kind of what got the ball rolling. It's going to be a, a long-term thing, I think. It's It's got a limited supply um, it's being mined continually and I, I think it's still here so all about it all about it you didn't pay attention to the rules well <laughs> all about it <laughs> I would agree with you I'm all about it too because as Bitcoin moves it seems like the rest of the market moves mm -hmm. um, not always I mean it is independent I think a lot of people think we actually had that question why do they all seem to go up and down at the same time right um, but um, it, it, they are all independent, but Bitcoin was the first big one. Um, it's been around basically the longest. Um, it's worth basically the most. Mm -hmm. um, and it does kind of control the market. And I think as you see it move, it gives people security and it gives them uh, confidence that the market is headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So I, I would agree and say all about it. Okay. So I'm going to ask the next one. Okay. Does Caleb... This guy has to answer this, and I look. I can tell he's no, staring daggers one. through me. Oh, the he's second like, oh. one is KU basketball. <laughs> Are you all about it or no. over it? No, no, no. You have to answer KU this. KU basketball, one. all about it. Oh, over I was it. over it a long time ago, maybe like five years old. Okay, so I grew up in uh, Mizzou house, so. KU, no, no. So okay, at least a congratulations on the national championship. Nah. No, no, no congratulations on it even. Nah. Okay, well, Pass. I will at least say congratulations on the national championship, but I've never been about KU basketball. I this isn't this is black and gold, but it's <clears> not <throat> Mizzou. But I've been over KU basketball a long time ago. Caleb, I agree with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so, topic number three is the Texas rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. All about it or oh, over? Oh yeah, all about Stone Cold, all especially about the Stiller. recent. Oh yeah, okay. He ages well. He still can perform. He was at this recent, most recent WrestleMania. Was kind of wise. This topic is WrestleMania was last weekend. For those of yeah. you that follow, don't follow wrestling, then he fought Kevin Owens. 
Yes. Kevin Owens. It's still all about it. And Pat Pat McAfee. Oh, yeah. It was and kinda, Mr. McMahon. And Mr. McMahon. Like so. 19 years later, all of a sudden, this is all coming back and everybody's old, so. Yeah, and Vince McMahon should not have gone up there. We'll just say that. I, I, even if you're not a wrestling fan, you have got to YouTube Stone Cold Stunning Vince McMahon and check that out. Yep. Definitely. If you don't laugh, there's something wrong with your We'll put a link in the description. Okay, so. do that, because it <laughs> is hilarious. If it's not it's, edited, because I've seen some edited ones already. Yeah, literally, oh, yeah. if you watch yeah. the right one, yeah. when he stuns him, it looks like he doesn't have legs. Yeah. Like, his legs just disappear. Too old, maybe. <laughs> um, I guess I'm in between, but I, I would pick, I would lean more towards the all about it. I, it was a cool moment. Um, the deal that he had with McAfee was fun. Uh, and fun. Owens was fun. I mean, they, he did. He took a suplex on the concrete, and he's 57 years old, I think. So, props for that. Um, I can't, It was funny that the interaction he had with Vince, Vince McMahon, but at the yeah. same time, it, it made me feel kind of sad for Vince. So, <laughs> so I, I would go all about it, though. What do you think? I'm all about it. Okay. It's good. I like listening to this podcast, and it was just fun to see him out there again. He and does have a good podcast. Years. Good. Um, the next topic is our Missouri weather. Are you all about it or over it? I'll go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it over snowed it. today. Over it. Yeah. it snowed. Don't care. Just, yeah, I'm confused, so it is what it is. Hey, speaking of that, <laughs> it's, it's, it's snowed today. Stand up. Uh, right. He's wearing Back shorts. up a little bit. There's the uh, shorts. Uh, <laughs> and it snowed. And it snowed. All right. Yeah. And our last topic is country music. All about it or over it? You start. You start this one first. I'm all about it. I like all music. Okay. I enjoy it. I, yeah, all about it. Um, some of the. Now look at your shirt, man. Yeah. You have to be all about it. All about. <laughs> I like country music. Always have. Uh, I have some, you know, some, I guess, eras that were I prefer, but in general, I like country music. Um, what do you prefer over it? Heavy metal, <laughs> but, but what I type do, of heavy metal? What type? Yeah, what genre? What genre? I would say they call it. Uh, I don't know, hardcore. No, basically. What are you always listening to whenever we walk in here? Christian heavy oh, metal. Christian heavy metal. And I can't understand well, a word of it. Preach core. Preach core. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> it's a thing now. Yeah, no. But no, not. I could definitely, some days is country music day. All right. All right. So, what about you? I don't care. I, <laughs> to be honest so, with you, I'm at that age <laughs> now wherever I like to listen to a variety of everything. Um, I have things from the 40s on my playlist all the way to like things that came out last month. Some of them are country, some of them are not. I'd say I kind of go through an area where I'm listening to a bunch of country music, then none, and yeah. I'm kind of in the none right now. But <laughs> all in all, I guess I'm all about it. There's no really middle ground in this category. so Right. But what do you think? Or you already answered. Oh, yeah, you're good. Who's your favorite country artist? My favorite? Yeah. Oh, John Party, for sure. Wow, that's yeah. a name. Yeah. Okay. You have a favorite? I don't have a favorite. Yeah, I don't think I do either. Maybe George Strait. I like George Strait. Yeah. Yeah. Like Chris Country. Ledoux. I like Chris Ledoux. That's probably my all-time favorite. It's Chris Ledoux. Yeah. All right, well, guys, that's about all the time we got for today. Um, and, uh, you know, keep submitting your questions. If you've got any suggestions for the All About It or Over It segment, we'd love to hear them um, and kind of go from there. Um, just check out what we got going on. We appreciate you watching. And if you get the chance, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks.